Hey guys, your boy Kerberos, and welcome to my FIFA 16 Liverpool Kerma, where it is derby time. It is time for the first Mar eh? Mer Merseyside derby of the season. It's at Goodison. It's the match that is, ironically, when this is uploaded, this will be going up on Saturday. We play Everton in real life on Sunday. So... What chances are, obviously, I'm going to be putting out my team. Obviously, Brendan Rodgers cannot put out the same team because he does not have these players. But, I'm going to guess what we see from Everton will probably be close, to, if not what they will put out. Uh, obviously, Baines is, uh, as you see Baines there, he's actually injured in real life. Um... So, uh, big, big, uh, big hole in the Everton defense, but as we, as we see, Everton actually have two really solid-looking young left-backs, so maybe they, they shouldn't have a problem, depending on, uh, what kind of form whoever is playing on the left side of midfield is in, depending on who it is, I guess, um, yeah, anyway, obviously, he, Baines will have to go up against Gareth Bale, so, yeah, good luck with that, Gareth, uh, Layton. Not really, because, yeah, but it, you're blue. You're blue, you ain't red. Yeah. Um, so, it's very simple, ladies and gentlemen. Unlike Manchester United, I actually have lost um, derbies in FIFA. I I think I've lost three times to Everton, and um, yeah, they've all been away. They've all been away. So yeah, Goodison Park, not my favourite stadium, and that's not because it's Everton. It's because I've actually lost to Everton. Three times here in previous FIFA's. Uh, FIFA 6, 8, and 9, if I remember correctly. Yes, those are the ones. FIFA's, FIFA 06, FIFA 08, and FIFA 09. That's those who I lost derbies in each of those FIFA. And it was all of those were the what he fixed yet. So hopefully. Because I'm undefeated, I haven't considered a goal yet. Hopefully, this is not. I would. I would prefer it. If I have. I know I'm going to concede a goal eventually. I can't go the whole season without conceding at least one goal. So it's just a matter of who will get that first goal. As you guys know, I did concede my first goal in FIFA in my uh in my previous in my last uh. Bruce and Mason got back. Kermo video. Oh. So my perfect record is gone, but I still have no goals conceded with Liverpool. Oh. And if I can keep that going through the Derby, then I'll at least get a draw! And Sturridge almost put me in the lead. That's one. And, um, Pretty much sure thing about the most matches Danny Sturridge and uh, Continuo will probably be playing as well. So and uh, Klein, those are probably the only three players I have out who will 100% probably be playing in some form or fashion for Liverpool or on uh, uh, tomorrow. Because uh, the rest of the players, they don't actually play for us. So, uh, yeah. Speaking of players who don't play for us, there's Bell. Oh, and uh, that is why I said good luck to Leighton Baines. Because Bell just kind of ripped him a new one. And Sturridge has scored. And, oh, I thought it might be offside, but no, it's in. It's 1-0. Gareth Bell with the assist. Daniel Sturridge with... Not the best headers, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Um, 
Tamara did get a hand to it, but obviously not enough to keep it out. In fact, he knocked it in. <laughs> so, a uh, bit unlucky there from the number one for the USA. But, uh, yeah, I will take it. I will take it hands down. Thank you very much. I will take 1 0 in the derby. Of course, I've played so many derbies, and having only lost three is, is a very good tally in itself. I've drawn a few a few as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm not perfect, you know, no one's perfect, but the derby in real life will probably be the deciding factor. If Brendan Rodgers wants to keep his job, he has to win. There is no way, I, I cannot see him keeping his job if we do not beat Everton. I mean, we barely beat Aston Villa, and we couldn't beat Sion, or Sian, or however it's pronounced. I apologise to any fans of that team, I tried my best. But yeah, we should be beating that team, Sion, or Sian, or however it's pronounced, like I said. I'm not blessed pronouncing in foreign clubs and foreign names. 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 Unless I hear it. It's John Stones there with a pretty ambitious effort, but then again, he's a young. I'm sure he has a lot of confidence in himself. In fact, that he is. Starting center back for one of the 20 Premier League teams in Everton. And uh, Chelsea are hunting him down like he god only knows what. And uh, for what reason, I have absolutely no idea. I mean, Stones is good, don't get me wrong. He's, he's a really good player, but is he worth 40 to 50 million? Absolutely fucking not. Chelsea is just freaks of desperate. Desperation. That's what it is. It's desperation. They're desperate to get in a decent defender because John Terry is getting too old and, and Daniel Sturridge makes it 2 nil. by the way. John Terry is getting too old and they just see John Stones doing hmm, in a decent job in Everton. They're like, right, if we get him in while John Terry is still around, we can have John Terry mould Stones into the next John Terry. Why Chelsea would want another John Terry is beyond me. Um, I wouldn't want one John Terry, let alone two. Uh, but yeah, that's just my prerogative. So yeah, it's all a matter of how much will Everton sell for. Because Everton holds all the cards because they could have taken 40 million. And Everton would have laughed all the way to the bank with 40 million. And they would have probably gotten a, a very decent defender who had to replace John Stones, no problem. Or John Stones waited on the Chelsea bench. For John Terry to get just too old for, for Mourinho to play him at all. Oh. And while he waits for that to happen, he's just sitting there chilling, waiting for that to happen. And, and all the while, Whoever's replaced him at Everton is doing a very decent job. So yeah, that's that's the. If I'm John Stones, I would be like, I'd go to Everton and say, 
no matter what, no matter how much Chelsea offer you, do not accept. I do not want to leave for Chelsea. I'm sorry, Stones is good, like I said, he's a very good player, but he is not a Chelsea level. Ooh. Yeah, he might be later in his career, but 40 million. Ask my backside, he is not worth 40 million. The only player I can see being maybe worth 40 million at a stretch in the Everton side is the player who just actually got injured, and that's Ross Barkley. He is by far the best player. Um, Stones is definitely up there, but Barkley is probably their best player, and he is definitely. Everton, no, it's just a matter of time before they lose him to a bigger club. It's a question of how long can they keep him until he's like, right, I want Champions League football, and Everton aren't getting anywhere near Champions League football. So, he hands in a transfer request or waits for some team to take notice of him playing well, and he's gone. I'm not saying that uh, he's going to be... he gone this season or next season. But in a few seasons, he will definitely, sooner or later, he will be looking for Champions League football. And I think the Everton fans, I think they know that. I think they do know that it's only a matter of time before he does go looking well, that elusive Champions League footballer's career makes it 3 0. And, uh, yeah, it, it just, it's just a matter of when he will leave and not the match, and not an issue of it. And, uh, If winning the derby was going to be this easy, Brendan Rodgers would have nothing to worry about, but that's not the case. He's, the derby in real life will probably be way more competitive. For some reason, Everton not really playing well today. And my grandmother, eighth, so... I'm not playing too bad in the league. But yeah. Storage almost makes it a 4-0. Uh, this is getting a bit ridiculous now. And that's going to be a foul on Tom. By Tom cleverly on uh, Marco Royce. Uh, should be a yellow card. Mr. Cleverly. Any second now. Did he not get a yellow card? He kind of pushed my player to the floor. Like, that's illegal. You can't actually do that. Nathaniel Klein? What in the hell was he doing up there? Hurrying up and get back to the fence. Oh, I can see my first goal because you're well, well, sightseeing. Here comes Henderson to Varane. Oh! Great. Oh, come on! The ball! I jack I tackled the ball from the player. How is that a foul? Oh seriously.
If that's a foul, then the foul on Royce should have at least been a yellow, if not red. Play on, play on. Serge might get that, and he did. It's 4-0. For a comfortable win, and Daniel Surridge has finally found his scoring form. Hmm. He got two early in the season, a few episodes ago, and he's not scored since. And out of nowhere, a hat trick. Was he winning for the derby? Question that may never be answered. But yeah, it's actually one of the biggest derby wins I think I've ever had. And it's definitely up there. But yeah, 4 0. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, Danny Sturridge, take that ball home, son. You deserve it. Ah. And you know, so is showing that he could play basketball if he likes, because he has such great handling. And I know Correa got the other goal, so my decision to make him my strike partner for that storage is going well. Oh. Now, it's all about the next game, which is Spurs, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is. I'm not certain it's Spurs. I could be wrong, but I'd be very surprised if I was, because then I'd be confused. Because I'm pretty sure it's Spurs. No, I'm pretty sure the game said it was Spurs. So I, uh, yeah, probably Spurs. See, I'm gonna focus on some of the younger talents in this uh, in this train session. Let's go with that. My backup goalkeeper. Let's go with. Let's go with Elori, who was the hero in the last episode. I won't say much more, but definitely worth a bit of a watch. If you didn't see the last episode, that was fantastic. Excellent. They all went up. Look at that. Oh, your man went up to a 49. He, a, he went up by two. Oh, yeah. Well done, Westwood. They all made incredible progress. That's good to see. There's uh, another stuff for me to uh, train up. What's this? Um, I don't know what you were expecting, mate. I really don't. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's the way it is, I'm afraid. Can't train up team lines. Let's train up Brannigan and maybe he'll uh maybe he can convince me to play him. I mean he'll play in cop games, but I don't know what he's expecting. I mean he's not gonna break into the first team at his current rating. That's not gonna happen. You're sixty one mate. Wow how am I supposed to play you? Over Coutinho, if you're 61, he's 84. That would just be mind-bendingly stupid of me, and I don't mind. I'm not in a mind-bendingly stupid mood. So yeah, no thanks, mate. Yes, my keeper's gone up to 76. 
he is going up as planned. Apparently he didn't go up B, so not bad. Two Bs in fact, Craig got a B as well. And uh, Ivan soon got D's. Sorry, um, sorry I'm going through these. Ooh, 93, hello. Hello, Mark. Appreciate. 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 Really shit. 69 as your potential. Dude, you shouldn't be playing football if your potential is 69. Same with you. 75. Work a little harder, mate. Oh, I need to find better scouts. These guys don't know how to find quality talent. They've brought me back a lot of really bad players, to be honest. The only surefire way is getting is the uh, is that youth player thing in the catalog. But yay, finally we're at the game. Jesus, do like that. Forever. Spurs are currently sixth. A win could actually send them up to second. So a uh, big game for uh, for Tottenham. Uh, it's a big game for me as well because I actually would like to keep this form going. Everyone's form is is just off the chart at the moment. This is so pumped. mini game again there we are at White Hart Lane so two away games in this man in this uh, video going to be uh, watching out for the Couple of Spurs players, Harry Kane, always a danger, Christian Eriksen, very creative, with tongue in like a rock at the back. Seriously, if I could have any Spurs player in the Liverpool team, it would be Jan Vertonghen. Just because he would so help by the fence. I mean, Jan Vertonghen is a really good defender. I mean, I don't think anyone. I don't think Arsenal fans can dispute that. So that, that's how good he is. He's like, shit, he's good. But anyway, in any event, I have to beat under the defence. Anderson somehow is trying to outpace Kyle Walker. He's never going to win that race. He still has the ball. Looking for storage. It's come back to him. Oh, and he's only gone and scored. John Anderson went an absolute screamo from a move he pretty much created. He ran with the ball. He crossed it in the head. It was headed out, it fell to his feet, he, he had a crack, and Vaughn is not able to deny it. I don't know where Hugo Lloris is. I think he might have been sold, I'm not sure. He probably was, and I've just completely forgotten that happened. So if he was sold and you're all just yelling at me like, Oh, he, he sold, you pointed it out when it happened or something like that. Please don't. I, I'm very bad at remembering things, things like that. So yeah. Okay, just, just smile and nod. Just smile and nod. Oh, that was a really bad pass. 
for the I won the ball back is Royce. He can match Kyle Walker for pace, that's for sure. Correa, storage, breezy goal. Oh. Oh. That's four in two games. It's, it's probably the easiest one yet, but they all count. Crab, very good, had a warm with an equally good save, but Daniel Sturridge just knocks it in to an empty net. And the Spurs fans are like, what the fuck is going on? And they are right, they are not sure what's going on. Henderson wins the ball from Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker struggling to get back. Um, is Kyle Walker crippled all of a sudden or something? Because what happened to his blistering pace? Did, did they remove that from him? Oh! Sturridge! <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. It was like bouncing on the grass bar. Oh. Bounce. Bounce. And so he's like, ah, oh, goddammit. I already thought it might drop in or something. There's always the next attempt, Daniel. Well, don't let that get you down. You still have four goals in two games. Of my goals I've scored in an episode. Coutinho is offside. <laughs> I was just about to say he's offside. And the and the linesman's like, oh we just hit it with uh, Corey. And I'm like, sure as mate. Saved me. He did trouble. Well saying he's offside is not really much trouble. Just like he's offside. <laughs> The chance there by Varane, which is somehow being given as a free kick because that's how this game works. Bruce, could you stand on the line, please, so they don't just smack it in? Thank you. Erickson, who is much better on free kicks than that, obviously left his shooting boots at home this morning. If you're quick, Christian, at half time you could try and get them. It might have been actually the first shot of the game. Which is a bit um, is a bit worrying if you ask for this man. Porte. So he's doing all the way up there. Yeah. Challenging for the ball has Correa straight at Vaughan. Why did you kick it straight at Vaughan? In fact, why am I asking him? Yeah, I didn't shoot that ball. I don't think the AI can actually take shots for you, the player. I really thought they'd given he'd given another free kick for me challenging the ball away from my opponent. No, he's a uh, he gave half time. <laughs> That's what he's giving. <laughs> oh. Going for the um, Tim Sherwood the, uh, method of bringing on Emmanuel Adebayor. Obviously, the. Um, the Spurs manager thinks. Kane has not performed to his best, so he's taking him off. Continue straight at Danny Rose, brilliant. Wonder did Ericsson uh, manage to go home and get his boots? 
guess there's only one way to find out, and that's not the hand shoot. <laughs> that was a nice foul there. Oh, now it's given. Oh wait, that was offside. It, and I was being sarcastic. Seriously, that, nothing was given for that. It showed the foul in the replay, and the referee's like, "Yeah." All good. Mm. Is that a bail? Playing against his former club. Got more hotspur. Just in there with a Chadley. Walker is Eric Lamella. It's Carl Walker again. Mason. Oh shit! Carl Walker! And Kyle Walker breaks my uh, my streak of not conceding. Congratulations, Kyle Walker. Spurs are suddenly back in this match. Well, oh, someone got the shooting boots at half time. Weirdly enough, it was Kyle Walker. <laughs> Not who you'd expect to score, but Spurs won't care as long as they get back in this match. Maybe my right back can do something for me. No, is a is a fall into the box, did not find Korea as I planned, it completely missed him. And went out for a little kick. Brilliant. Korea beats Walker off the ball. Coutinho misses that uh Henderson! Oh Henderson almost got a Brace, a rip! That second goal would have been bad for Jordan Anderson. No, actually, perhaps third of the season. He did score a few games ago. Young Jan Vertonghen? Are they on all our attack or something? Because that would be the only explanation for. I mean, Carl Walker, you could. You could, um, you could understand, because he's a right back. Right backs like to. Venture away, but see, that's this is what that does because the Tongan is down at, in my box, it's 3 1. Daniel Sturridge with his second of the game is the fifth in two, and yeah, he is now on another hat trick. Daniel Sturridge out of nowhere is probably got to be top goal scorer by now, surely. Because that is, is. He has now seven goals. If he's not at least in the top three, I'd be very shocked. Unless, uh. I forget. I know Sterling has five goals for, uh. for, uh, Man City. I actually didn't see if he had scored in the last match. Um, I'm there, was it offside? Going to assume that's what it was. Uh, obviously I skipped past the replay, I didn't think. Getting of it. I guess it doesn't matter. Here he is, looking for Bale, can he get there? Of course he can, it's Gareth Bale, he's got the pace. He's gonna easily beat Danny Rose. Did he? Did he, uh, Fapple Rose there. No? No he didn't? Okay, fair enough. Royce goes for goal. Why not? Yeah. 3-1 win in 
very nice and great for Daniel Sturridge to go for John Henderson. But the big news is that Kyle Walker has uh, ended my run of not conceding with Liverpool. So I've now conceded both my career modes. I conceded in the Champions League with Christian Mission Gladbach, and I've conceded in the league with Liverpool. So, uh, a reversal there. But I still got the win. 3-1. I scored seven goals in this game. I mean, seven goals in this video. And, uh, yeah. Five of those were scored by Daniel Sturridge. The other two were Jordan Henderson and Angel Correa. Let's just check. Um, to play and see on there. I was just talking about them a few minutes ago. So, let's quickly check how the uh, Premier League is, uh, is looking in terms of. So. Yep, Daniel Sturridge is top goal scorer with seven goals then we have four players on two Callum Wilson of Bournemouth McLean of West Brom Chadley of Spurs and Raheem Sterling of Manchester City Diego Costa has the most assists with four I still have most clean sheets because that was, like I said, that was the first one. I didn't get clean sheet. Uh, I can live with that. Cause, cause, my incredible clean sheet record means that is how the table looks. I am. Nine points ahead of both Manchester clubs and a further one point ahead of Chelsea. I'm nine games in and I'm already really far ahead. Yeah. And Brendan Rogers is down in like twelfth or something. I'm exaggerating a little. We're actually about eight or something like that. So, take that what you will and wow, Southampton who are my next league game are bottom of the table. What? The Saints are not marching on and they have uh, my team, they have Liverpool to play next. It is not a good day to be a saint. Until next time, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.